Hello and what is up guys, my name is Pixel Polish and welcome back to my blind playthrough of Neverwinter Nights 2. So in this episode we will com definitely continue. I don't want to rest, stop this. Well met, friend! Yes, hello to you as well. Okay, so in this episode we're gonna continue our exploration of the orc caves. So without further ado, let's just pick it up where we left off. Oh, hello. I didn't know there will be a dialogue option on here. You're no orc. You're not just... Uh, what? You're not just going to stand there, are you? Who is... Who is this guy is like a half-orc, maybe? He, look, he looks kind of humanish. Okay, continue. Uh, open this thrice-cursed door. I don't want to wind up impaled on some orc's blade and neither do my men. Who the hell is this? Oh yeah, there we go. Who are you? I am a miner and this is my crew. And don't tell me I already know, this isn't the safest place to be mining. This is a, some weird miner because he definitely looks like a half-orc. Okay, so how do I open the door? Find a key or something. Bash the lock, fiddle with, 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 with a thief's kit. With the so sorry for that. Fiddle with it with a thief's kit, just get us out of here. By the gold, is it the first locked door you've encountered in your life? Then we're l really doomed. Okay, just give me a moment. Uh, let me check what's up in here though. Okay, so this one is open. Ha! So I can take a sneak peek. Yeah, so they are actually miners. And this guy is most definitely an, a half orc. Uh, th of that I'm absolutely sure, but... You know what, before we do anything hasty, let's quickly quick save. And... Everybody, follow me! Nishka, do your thing. Are you good enough? There we go. I would say yes. There you go, guys. Thanks for the rescue, we've had enough of this place. We're heading back to the well. Alrighty, but before we go... On the off chance you manage to clear this place out, let us know. With the orc's gun, we might actually be able to mine these caves in peace. Men, uh, get off your lazy behind. We're leaving now. Okay, so that's a good thing to do. Okay, have I, like, gained any... Nope, doesn't seem like my alignment has shifted in any way, shape or form, so that's good. Actually, actually, let me double check. Yeah, it's where it's supposed to be. This place is dark. Really, really dark. Hello, Orkish guys. Happy or no? And off we go again. Hunting the British orcs. Nice. So far, so good. Wow. Obviously, there's more of them. <laughs> this badger is awesome. Rabbit badger. Hey, ready. Orkish fiend. Who else have got in here? You know? I could spend a night or two. Okay, but let's get back to looting now. Not much of a loot, but hey. Free is free. This place is pretty vast, to be honest. Longbow. Ooh, magical longbow. Uh, not the best time to be encumbered, so quickly, quickly. Kalgar, you take it. I need to be moving here. 
Ah, oh, short mages. Oh, god damn! Dire wolves. So they've got dire... Ear wolves. Oh, so it's a summoned dire wolf, so once the mage thingamabob died, the wolf also disappeared. Good. Sleep tight. Let's see, what do we have here? I am carrying so much junk now, holy crap, I need to definitely unload some of that stuff to Kelgar. Oh, I bought him a heavy crossbow plus one not long ago and there, you, there yes. we go. I found, now I found one for free. Awesome. Also, why is my hotbar so messed up? Okay, so she took care of the chest. Okay, so where are we exactly? So we've got a door to a small room full of... Oh, orc matron, orc cook. Huh, interesting. Let's see how tough they are. Okay, Kelgar, uh, you really need to... Oh, he actually cannot move. Alrighty then, so in that case, let me use... Chain Lightning! Ha! That worked. That worked really nice. So, anything interesting in here? Well, it being an interesting room, nothing else really. Or crawling pin! What? Is that a, like a blunt weapon? Let's see. <laughs> yeah. And it's actually magical, holy shit. It has a stun chance. Whoa, okay, wait a minute. This is 1d6 plus 1, and it has a chance to stun. Is it better than my scimitar? All the fire damage only comes from the spell. My enchantment bonus on it is plus two, but you know what? I'm gonna try just for shits and giggles. Holy crap. Orcish rolling pin. What a weapon. I was dreaming of that day. I was dreaming of the day that I will find the most majestic weapon in the game. The Orcish rolling pin. Amazing. And why I keep switching switching my hotbars for some reason? Okay, quick save just in case. Let's go see what's in here. Ooh, more chests. Do we have any traps here, though? Mishka? I don't think so. She's going straight for the lock, it seems. Well, well, well. Looks like this lock needs some special attention. Oh, yes, indeed. Thank you very much. Fundamentals of terrible destruction. So some books that do not really interest me, but okay. We'll take it. So I um, I wonder if there will be a second level to this place. Or you know what? You know what I should do? I should rest. We've got... Aha! So I should definitely save my game right after resting because we've got not hostile orcs ahead of us, but they might become hostile pretty soon. What the hell is going on? Oh, there we go. I don't know why my hotbars are keep changing, but never mind. Let's just save the game. And let's go right in. A lot of blue orcs. So wait. That's the ISOC, there we go. We found the leader. So, you know what? If I can... Okay, so I haven't triggered anything yet. Which is good, because I want to buff myself up. Because I know yes. that if some level of intimidation or diplomacy will be necessary to end this peacefully, resolve this peacefully, then... Most likely, I'm not gonna pull this off. So I would rather be ready for a proper fight. Maybe I'm going overboard with all the buffs, but... Better safe than sorry, right? 
Crayola Crayola Vitus. Now I've got a flaming rolling pin. Okay, so now we are ready to roll. Just after I'm gonna quick save. Impressive! Even as prepared for an attack as we are, you still were able to fight your way here. Yes, indeed, I was. Before I kill you, tell me, why have you invaded my clan hold? I have come uh, for the human you captured. Where is he? You long enough. <laughs> Uh, I'm here to... No, let's ask about the human nicely. So, the human is of more value than I was told. I must inform Logram of this. As for you, let us see how you do against the best of my clan. Okay, so... I don't think there was even an option to try and be diplomatic with this guy, but this guy seems like he wants to escape. Can I? No, I will not be able to catch up with him. He can change to red, so I won't be able to attack him. Really. Coward. Bloody coward. I still have my blast globes, which is nice. If anything serious comes up, I might want to use those. Okay, nothing to loot in here. Nope. Oh, there we go. Some remains. I always find it, found it funny how remains were these leather bags, sacks, even in Neverwinter. Ah, shit, traps. Mishka, what are you doing? Whoa, so many traps. Okay, please, please, deal with those. Quickly. Kelgar, you moron! Okay, Nishka, there's more traps. How about them? Okay, you know what? I How need can to I help? Oh, ah, there she goes. As I was about to take control over her. And one more. Okay. There's another one. Traps are plenty. Now probably we'll have to open the lock. No, actually, it's open. No, it's not open. What am I saying? There we go. Yes? Ooh, lots of gold. Good. Any cool weapons maybe on the rack? Katana. I kind of wish I could uh, I could actually use... Uh, what are they called? Exotic. Yeah, exotic weapons. Because it, having a katana would be awesome. The only problem with katanas in this game, I mean, I'm not sure if this game in particular, but I've got a feeling it might be, because it, there was a problem with those weapons in Neverwinter Nights 1 as well. Yes! There was simply no good weapons, so investing in exotic weaponry was kind of a bummer. And a waste of skill. Okay, so let's put those things into the bag so that, that that they weigh a lot less. There we go. I would say yes. Shit, this dungeon is going forever. Oh Nishka, there we go. This is your time to shine. Thank you. That was nice. Oh hello. So wait, is that nah for a second I thought maybe that coward is actually trying to stop us now, but yeah, I thought so. He just left his minion in his path. But we, we will deal with them really shortly. My team is now getting quite competent when it comes to defeating packs of enemies. And I remember just a couple of undead in the first crib that I have visited were like, oh my god. Almost the entire team was going down. How the times have changed. And it will only get better, I presume. Since you know, you play as the hero and savior of this world. I just hope for some really epic items. I, I love armors that are nice and shiny. 
and look all, all fancy. Same goes for weapons. Okay, so Yaisok is here, okay. Why do you continue to hound me? Because you're an asshole. I wanted the guy and you didn't give me the guy. I am Yaisok. I cannot die. Okay, uh, see if perhaps you would not attack me right away. Then maybe we could work something out. But you dumbass decided to go after me immediately, so that's your problem, I'm afraid. Not the best call. Oh, these guys are a little, bit, a little bit tough. Oh, wait, wait, maybe he's... Aha, I have beat some sense into his stupid head. No, spare me, my trap still needs me. Okay. I give you my word, answer my questions, and I shall show you mercy. Lie, spare your li I'll spare your life if you tell me uh, what I need to know. Uh, your choice is simple, answer my question or die. Yep, this is the answer that I'm gonna give him. Years ago, in my youth, I would have embraced death. There is no higher glory than to die in battle. Oh, like spoken like a true viking. But times have grown more desperate for my people. The humans grow strong and uh, send their men to slaughter our warriors. It has fallen to the uh, to we elders to train our warriors. Each the, each of them uh, teach them of our ways. And should I fall, that knowledge will be lost forever. Maybe you should have that, like I don't know, maybe written it down. Just an idea, mate. Spare me, allow me to leave, and I shall answer your questions. Okay, f fine with me, I don't have any beef with you personally. Okay, so... Hmm... How do I know you won't turn on me? I want to live. Besides, you would only return to hunt me, uh, to hunt me if I betray you. That is true, you are absolutely right. So tell me... Where is the water deep emissary? Ah, yes, the human. He is here. Nice. I should have known that our attack would not go unanswered. Okay, so. Who planned the attack? Logram of the A Gouger tribe. I Gouger. A Gouger? What am I? Whatever. Uh, uh, the Logram of the Igarder tribe was the one who ordered the orcs to attack. My tribe was given the honor of leading the charge. Well, it didn't work out for you so well, didn't it? Chief Logram seemed to place great importance on this attack. We were told if uh, we were told it would help. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, turn the tide of battle against the humans here in the mountains. It was a glorious battle. The orcs suffered only light losses, while we slaughtered the human force. Uh huh. Where can I find Logram? I would have killed you if the emissary had been harmed. Chief Logram... Oh, nothing changed, okay. Chief Logram has given my clan the privilege of guarding the human until the, his forces arrive to bring him back to his stronghold. Oh, so it seems like I'm here just on time. I know, uh, I know only that this human was to be turned over to other humans from the north. Aha! Uh -huh. The ones from the pirate city. Laskan. Gotcha. Okay, who planned the attack? I already asked that. Mm, why would the humans want the emissary? Humans do strange things. We orcs kill our enemies. We do not capture and feed them, and do not un uh, and do not understand why humans would do so. Chief Logram did not tell me why, and I did not ask. The chance of battle was enough. Where can I find Logram? His lair is kept hidden, even from his warlords. I only know that his men always travel deep into the mountains to the southeast. Aha! Uh, when they return from their raids. So yeah, we will have to probably search for it. Mm -hmm. I've heard that someone else in the mountains uh, attacking the orcs. Yeah, I didn't just hear it, I saw it, the trolls. Ah yes, the... Uh, Katalmak? 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 The Orc Slayer. Ah, yeah, it's about this guy, not the trolls. True, true. Ah, yes, Katalmak. The Orc Slayer who has plagued us for almost a season. He strikes swiftly, then disappears into the mountains. Many of our finest warriors have fallen to his sword. It is said no blade can harm him, and he embraces battle like no, uh, no one who wishes to die. Like one who wishes to die. Yeah, there we go. And if it were not for this 
Katalmak, uh, the humans would never have been able to take our well. He's a curse upon our tribes. Hmm. Okay. I've heard enough, I'm going to kill you. Nah. You may go. Do not return. Or else. Your actions have shifted your lament. Oh no! One point so good. Holy crap. If you continue on your current you will no longer be able to advance as Druid. God damn it. I mean, I know I have to be a prick sometimes. But I was hoping that uh, maybe I won't have to kill this guy. God damn it. You see how the game forces you into being lo lawful good? Now I'm now I wonder if I should maybe uh, reload the game and kill the guy. But you know what? Uh, I'm gonna risk it. Uh, at you know, what's the worst that can happen? Maybe next time I will have a better opportunity to not become good and still do what I want to do. This is this sucks actually because a neutral character would do something similar. You don't have to. Ah. This annoys me. Okay, man. Don't hurt me! I'm not in league with the orcs! Are you uh, Isani of Waterdeep? Huh? Ah, yes! Yes! Did my government send you after me? Well, almost. Are you hurt? The orcs have held me captive, but fortunately haven't harmed me as of yet. I am here to escort you to Neverwinter. What are you doing here? Ah, that. Yeah, I'm gonna ask him. As you can plainly see, I've been held captive by the orcs. Fortunately, they haven't harmed me yet. Uh, you just told me that, bro, so no need to repeat yourself. However, I'm sure they eventually would have killed me. Not really. I suspect that these orcs have been involved with other abduct abductions. Mm. You mean the other emissaries from Waterdeep? Ah, then I uh, then I can trust you. I am Isani, emissary, emissary from the Deeper uh, the Deep. Deeper Deep. I must thank I must thank Lord Nasher for sending a rescue party to uh, so quickly. Uh, you didn't really answer my question, but okay, fine. Uh -huh. This doesn't look like a, uh, much of a prison to me. I believe the warlord of this lair wished to keep keep me close so he could watch me, and this was one of the this was the only r room available. Okay. But do not let these surroundings fool you, the orcs clearly intended to harm me. I am fortunate you arrived when you did. Yes, you are, indeed. But, what are you doing here? And how did you find me? Uh, these are some weird dialogue loops. I'm here to escort you to Neverwinter. Ah, yes, then I can trust you. Same answer again. We don't have the t time to talk, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the way clear, I am confident that I can make my uh, way safely to our city. And to be honest, I travel much faster alone. Aha, uh -huh, so he's gonna go alone. Well, fine. If the Lords of Waterdeep had not insisted that uh, I travel with an escort, I believe I could have eluded my orcish captors. I have a job to do, and I mean to see you safely to Neverwinter. Brave uh, and dutiful, a rare combination. I assure you, however, that I am not entirely helpless. I could not leave this place without having to battle my way through the entire tribe of orcs. However, out in the open, I shall approve. I shall prove to be much more difficult to quarry. A much more difficult quarry. Okay. Is there anything I can help with? Maybe. You've already done enough. Be assured that those in the right circles shall be informed of your deed. Good. If you excuse my haste, uh, it'd be best on my. Uh, I'll be based on my way. You've cleared the route for me, but more orcs are certain to show up soon enough. Safe travels to you, my rescuers. I shall repay. We uh, repay you at my earliest opportunity. Okay then. So I guess this is done. Holy moly! Let me save the game. And I believe there was nothing else for me in the cave. Wait, do I want to go back to the old owl well? Yeah, I want to go back because... Oh, you have encountered something on the way to your destination. 
It's a trap! Oh, okay. That's a lot of orcs. Dark skin, flaming, rolling pin, and I'll be good. And it made me buff my Wolfie a little bit. Abati! Huzzah! To the fight, my friends! Attack! Nice! Nice icicle. Let's see what they're made of! Unfortunately, that icicle also hurts Nishka, but not too terribly, so it's okay. Oh god damn, each time I hear this battle music... Hey. Well, that was entertaining. Looks like we caught them by surprise for a change. Huh. Oh, not really. There we go. Ambush! Aren't they all naked? Uh, that would be very disturbing. Look like it for, uh, look Just like, it for a second. like orcs. They don't know when to quit. Oh. Hello. Grey cloaks? Neverwinter forces? Or who is that? Whoa. Hey! Those are our orcs! Uh, yep. Uh, okay. Everybody. Yeah? Go fight. Yes. Everyone, and I will me. join you very swiftly, but yes. first I want to loot all this shit because, to be completely honest, I do not trust the game to let me do it after the battle is done. Because there might be a scripted event that will, you know, push me somewhere. That's it for you! Take that! And I will be robbed of all the goodies. And I cannot be robbed of all my goodies. Die, sir. Sir Orc. Okay, anything else? Oh, see, there we go. He's a paladin. Their auras always make my skin itch. The Sword Mountains are a dangerous place. More now than ever, with the Orc tribes gathered behind Logram's banner. Yeah, I have noticed. Uh, who are you? I had things under control, mate. So I noticed. I thank you then for allowing us to take part in the battle. We were doing you just fine without you. Thanks. I am Casavir, and my men and I have been hunting this group of orcs for days. Well, they weren't that fine, that hard to find. <laughs> oh wait, wait! Is it this guy? Yeah, the Grey Crocs have been trying to make contact with you. I am aware of that. Be assured that my people and I fight against the Orcs, if not on Neverwinter's behalf. My scouts have reported on your progress through the Sword Mountains. You have survived much. Why are you here? I like it here. It's nice and refreshing, you know. The, the mountain air really, uh, you know, rubs me the right way. Uh, hmm... How do I know I can trust you? I sided with you against the orcs and am now talking with you despite your suspicions. My men and I have been hunting the orcs for some time now. Are you here for the same reason? Hmm. Okay. We're searching for the orc chieftain Logram Eyegouger. Then we share the same goal. His lair is difficult to find, and the approach is no doubt well defended. Killing Logram would certainly throw the orcs into disarray. However, I'm guessing that you have another purpose for being here as well. Oh, I know where this is. My this might be going. This guy might be recruitable for my team, and I will seriously consider that actually, because a paladin would be awesome. And. There's always a place for a paladin in a good team. Uh, I'm guessing that you have another purpose. Okay. Why would you say that? Well, anyone looking to slay the Orc tribe chieftain would normally bring along a larger force. No matter. As our goals are the same, your reasons are none of my concern. Okay, so where's the lair? Our soldiers know the mountain well, but even they would have missed it if not by chance. If you intend to enter the stronghold of Logram, it is to the north. I can lead the way. 
What about your troops? We have lost some men, but I will assemble who I can and join you on the assault. No, Catriona. We have already lost too many, and a massed attack on Logram will only cost us more. I will be going on alone. Casavir, sir, we kept you from this once. I think it's best if... Please, it is important that you do as I ask. Take the survivors and fall back to the Great Cloak's camp. Do what you can to help them and keep the pressure on the orcs. If we cannot defeat Logram, then he will come after them in full force, and the Great Cloaks must be warned. So, after all this time avoiding the Neverwinter forces, now you want me to stride right into their camp? Look, Casavir, let me go with you. There is no need to keep doing this alone. Let us help you. Hmm. Uh, why aren't we bringing the others? Oh, maybe we could use the extra men, Casavir. A smaller group will move quicker and attract less attention. The trail to Logram's lair is narrow. More swords will not aid us there. I've seen that trail. If you go up there, you will be nothing more than easy targets. Gods know what guards or defenses they have. You'll be killed. You have your orders, Catriona. We'll meet you back at the Grey Cloak's camp after we have dealt with Logram. Very well. Good luck, sir. Are you ready to take on Logram and his clan? I can guide you to the path to his lair. Are you sure you want him traveling with us? Holy warriors only lead to trouble, and plus, his aura makes my skin itch. We could use his help. There's greater beasts than orcs in these mountains, and we may need every blade we can get if we cross paths with them. It will require that I take a place at your side, however, if your group can spare the room. Yeah, I thought so. So, decisions, decisions, decisions. So, Kesavir kinda has to go with us anyway, so... I'm gonna get Kelgar back and Nishka. I wish I could travel with all of you, but I can't. Accept party, there we go. This is actually uh, more like the party setup that I always wanted to get, but... It kind of feels sucky leaving uh, Elani behind. But I'm not really sure if Casavir will actually continue traveling with us, but... Something tells me that after we are done with, with whatever we have to do in the mountains, that he might. And, you know, Elani is a druid, I'm a druid, we don't need two druids. Paladin yes. is much nicer. So what do we have here? Divine Favor, Bless Weapon, Aura of Glory. Oh, what else does he have available? That's not a lot of spells. What level is he? Because that looks kind of suckish. Remove Paralysis, Resist Energy, Shield Other, Stabilize. He's got some Curing Spells. But at this point in the game, I would expect that this guy would be much higher level, so... He's a level 9 paladin, so yeah, he Follow is actually yes. our level, it's just that... Yes. His spells kinda suck. Hmm. Yes. Well, I guess we will have to deal with what, what we have. Oh, Hammer of Justice, let's see. Bonus versus Chaotic, plus 2, plus 1 normal bonus, that's a nice... And that's a pretty regular heavy shield, so... You know what? I'm not gonna give him any equipment just yet, because I'm simply not sure if... if this guy will stick with us or not. Is there anything up there? Nah, I don't think so. I would say yes! And I would say yes indeed. Okay, Kasavir, come on. You can come now. Whatever. I'm gonna save my game again, like, not on this save game, on a new one, because this is after something major, so... It's better to have a spare save, just in case. Okay, so now... where are we going? Here? I Gouger Clan, yep. We are definitely going here. Alrighty then, let's go. You know what would be pretty funny? If I would leave this guy behind and uh, didn't take him uh, after all, I'll but I don't think we can actually... Oh, shit. 
nasty, nasty spiders. Holy shit, they look like. Wait. Are... Whoa, hello. These are robots. Holy shit. Interesting. I mean, I uh, fought blade spiders since Baldur's Gate, but they were always like. Oh, yes, steel like. And, but they did not look like constructs, so I don't know if this is something new or this is just, you know, artistic freedom of the game creators, because I don't remember those guys actually being like automatons, they were simply like me metallic-like spideys, nothing else. Okay, we've got some orcs. Let us settle this! Yeah, uh, Mr. Paladin, show me what you've got. Well, he's quite good, I'd say. Look at me, a nice addition to my team. I think this is a pretty neat uh, team composition, because... If things didn't change too much, then uh, Paladins, Slayer levels especially, should be very, very useful. A lot of useful spells. Like Resurrection, for example, but that is not really necessary in this game, as we know. But maybe there will be something else that is useful. Mechanical spiders are, just, are simply not as nasty as they usually are. But it's funny that they definitely look like machines. Alright then, let's inspect this camp first, because there might be something cool in here. Okay, Nishka. Yeah, I think she already... No, never mind. She didn't spot a thing. Often when she slows down, that means she was actually... Yeah, as you can see, trying to take some action, but this time it's just opening, I think. Kama. Ah, uh, that's another exotic, exotic weapon, unfortunately. Exotic or monk? Oh, so if Kelgar becomes a monk, he could be, you know, using that. That's neat. That's neat. I'm all for it. Okay, let's take a rest. Oh shit! Who casted the spikes? Are you serious? Oh, thankfully resting. Uncasted them, so that's good. Whoa, these are some huge mountains. More spideys. Okay, flame weapon. Okay, and how yes. about you? What do what do we have here? Bless weapon. Yeah, bless your own weapon. Let's see how that looks like. Ooh, shiny. Okay, what else do we have here? Aura of Glory. What is this exactly, anyway? Mm. Aura of Glory. You channel divine power to gain plus 4 charisma bonus. All allies near you gain plus, uh, plus 5 to their saving throws versus fear. Ah, uh, so this is very, very, very situational, unfortunately. By all the hells! Boom! Okay, so it was my character that was casting bloody spikes. Once I, once I left him alone. But that's okay. He actually casted those. What? Nishka did it? What did she do? She's got some new skills that I was not aware of. I think she casted Darkness so that she can attack blinded enemies more effectively, being a rogue and all. Huh, I will have to check that out later. Because that might be really interesting and useful tactically. Oh, hello! 
We've got a barricade over her over here. Ah, that's it for you. Take that. Ha! You know what? I've got an idea. Okay, this should encompass all of them if I throw it here. Boom! Sons of bitches, they moved out. Yeah. Let's destroy the barricades then. Yeah. Okay, guys, but you know what? You could be moving too. Destroy all to of the them. Fight, my yeah. will not stand against us for long. But yeah, sneaky bastards, they actually like spread out not to stand in the fire. That's really smart. Okay, and the rest of the guys are still fighting the, the wall? Really? Come on. Ugh, god damn it. Hells, hells, hells. Was that alright? No, that was not all right because you were uh, act looks like a like we have company. What the hell? No problem. And you can level up there. Oh yes. Let us settle this. I don't remember what's the maximum level. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Uh, exploration, follow Get me. Get in please. line, follow me. Don't rush towards the enemies yet. I'm not done here. So there's a lot of loot that they left. And I want to level up before we proceed. And you should be all aboard with this idea because that will make us that much better. Okay, time to level up. Dread next. Recommended next. Finish. Boom. Follow me. Booyah. Uh, same here. Yes. Uh, I don't know a goddamn thing about making good dwarven war axe. Hmm. Do I want this? Hmm. That's the problem when you play th these games for the first time, you have no idea what sort of artifacts you will find ahead of you. So, choosing your preferred weapon, like committing to it, sometimes m might be horrible. Same goes for choosing like a racial enemy because you don't know what to expect, you'll be fighting. So, that kind of sucks, but you know what? I'm gonna go with the game because I'm hoping against all hopes that the writers and the game designers here actually work together and they know uh, that there is a weapon for him somewhere down the line because for now he's definitely using uh, is he's great at using yes. the great sword uh, but i will actually take a quick quick peek uh, into the bag of holding and see if yeah. maybe, perhaps, he is already carrying some Dwarven War Axe. Let's see. Hmm. We've got some hammers, more blades, throwing axe. Not exactly what I want. There's Great Axe and Battle Axe, but is it the same? Does it count? I've got a weird feeling that it does not. 1d12, that's great damage. How about this? 2d6, so uh, almost the same but better. Guaranteed 2 instead of guaranteed 1 as a minimum damage. I don't think... I have anything like that in my inventory, unfortunately. Well, that kind of sucks balls, if I'm to be honest. Right, where do I check those things, uh, feats? Yeah, Dwarven War Axe, so it has to be a very specific type of weapon. Uh, proficiency with the chosen weapon type, blah blah blah. Okay, fire only. Mm-hmm. 
Wait, use automatic, blah blah blah. Special halflings and gnomes are small creatures and such they cannot can never use. Mm. So this tells me nothing if any other weapon type actually Get in line. goes me. under the banner of Dwarven War Axe, so I'm guessing it, Dwarven War Axe it has to be. Exactly that. To the fight, my friends! Attack! Okay, now I'm gonna throw it here, and maybe this will actually deal with the barricade itself a little better. But guys, 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 please don't run into explosions. Hey! I think we've had enough of this. Sure, I can do that. Whoa! Holy crap! Okay, go here. Go here, please. Go here, I said. All of you. Because there's a lot of splody fire over there. There we go. Now we can fight. Now we can fight. No, 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 no. Uh, looks like we Kilgar. have company. We need to lure them away from the blasty stuff. Nishka, what the hell? Why are you not listening you know? to me? They do not want to listen to me. Come here. Let's see what they're made of. I, okay, the fire is gone now, so I could have already go after them. So let's fix that. What is my character doing? Nice! Healing and stuff. He might actually be better than me. <laughs> Kasavir is severely beaten up, but he'll live. He'll loot. And we need to definitely rest now. Magic wand. Wraith residue. Holy what? What residue? Why am I that super encumbered? Holy crap. I guess all the loot is starting to pile up. It really does. Some things don't look like it, but they are quite heavy, apparently. Okay, that's enough to move, so that's good enough for now. Oh, I cannot rest while enemies are nearby. Let's see if I can move slightly further away and rest by the fire. That would be awesome. Yeah, there we go. That works. Quick save and let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. There's no time to waste. Let's not waste any daylight. Because it's so pretty in here with the daylight. I'm gonna be so rich after this. I've picked up so much stuff already. This will be good. Hey, spideys. I'm gonna bust you with my stick. With my rolling thing. These spiders are really not so scary. Which is uh, definitely weird because in Baldur's Gate 2, if you would meet those guys, holy shit. For the majority, the majority of the games, these guys were scary as shit. Because they could mess you up really, really badly, especially with their poison. It doesn't seem like this is the case in the Winter Nights 2. So, so far, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest, uh, the game seems a little bit too... Oops, maybe I spoke too soon. Because there is a big one over there. That's it for you. Take the game that. does look Time for a, little fun. a bit easier than I would expect it would be. Uh, but I don't know if I want to increase the difficulty level further because it might become ridiculous in some ways. Yeah, this is definitely a big one. 
Okay, guys, now focus on the spider. Ha! Okay, not so scary after all. Yeah, as you can see, even those, like, not really bosses, but, you know, seemingly more powerful uh, monsters are not that difficult to kill. At least, uh, you know, now, sure, at the beginning of the game, everything was a little bit too difficult even, I would say. But once I, like, went through a certain threshold, uh, the game definitely became way, 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 way easier. And I'm not sure if I'm actually fine with that, so I will have to read up on the difficulty levels and maybe tweak them a little bit further, because I don't want the game to be st too easy. But uh, for this episode, I think we are out of time, so this will be the end of this video, and I will see you in the next time. In the next one, even. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe if you haven't already, like, share and perhaps you would like to see some of my others. There's new ones every week. And to see the episodes early, among other perks, you can support the show on Patreon. As always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Pixel Polish, out!